Hello and welcome, welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles and welcome to day nine of Vlogmas. So I did go to Starbucks this morning. I did try the chestnut praline latte thingy and it was okay. It's good, but it's not, it's not replacing peppermint mocha as my favorite holiday drink. Definitely better than the sugar cookie, but would I get it again? Maybe, but not likely. Today's tea is Buddha's Blend. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that Dasha really likes. And this is white tea, green tea, jasmine pearls, artificial peach flavoring, and white hibiscus blossoms. You can definitely smell the peach. This is good. I like it. Um, I would just add a little bit of honey. But this one I would actually drink. And then chocolate. Looks like milk chocolate. Okay, I think... This is the Milk Chocolate Caramel Embrace. Okay, we're gonna eat that chocolate a little later. I keep the chocolate in the fridge and it's not like the creamy caramel, it's it's kind of hard because it was in the fridge. So we'll come back to that. So today's book recommendation is Crime Fiction with Paranormal, I guess Paranormal Elements would be accurate. This book was originally on my Black Queenathon TBR, but I wasn't able to get to it, but I just finished it a little while ago, and that is Forging a Nightmare by Patricia A. Jackson. So this is the book that Vina recommended to me for my 12 Rex by 12 friends, and I had a journey with this book. I found the audiobook on Scribd. I tried listening to the first two chapters and I was confused as hell. I had no idea what the hell was going on. So I was like, hey, Vina, did you read this physically? Because I tried audio and I have retained absolutely nothing. And she's like, yes, read it with your eyes. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I kept the audiobook, but also got a physical copy and I did a blended read. And this are following FBI agent Michael Childs and he is leading an investigation into a serial killer. Now the interesting thing about this case is that each of the victims was born with 12 toes and 12 fingers. The story becomes a lot more complex than just that and I think it would actually be helpful if I read you the synopsis because at first it looks like it gives away a little too much but it actually does not give away nearly as much as it seems. FBI agent Michael Childs is investigating a series of grisly murders in New York City where the only link between the victims is that they were all born with 12 fingers and 12 toes. In occult circles they are known as the Nephilim. When Michael gets too close to the truth, he uncovers his own unique heritage and finds himself at the top of the killer's list. A break in the case leads to a Navarrains, a Marine Corps sniper listed as killed in action. However, Michael finds the soldier alive and well, just no longer human. She's a nightmare, a warhorse forged from a damned soul and trained to infernal purpose. As the boundaries of mythology and biblical lore collide in his reality, Michael is forced to confront an apocalyptic calling or die trying. So for me, as someone who knows absolutely nothing about biblical lore, I didn't know what the hell that meant going into it. I also didn't read the synopsis before I started reading, of course, but I'm gonna say this and it's probably gonna piss a few people off. I feel like this book did what Legendborn wanted to do. It took this mythology and lore and put black people at the forefront without forcing them to go through an obscene amount of racism. And that is why I would recommend that if you like Legendborn, you should read this and it it's better frankly. I ended up rating this four stars and the only reason that it wasn't a four and a half which was originally what I thought that I was gonna rate it is because there was a romance subplot and we know how I feel about that but otherwise it was absolutely worth it. It is a very chunky book much chunkier than I originally thought it was going to be and it was worth every page. Okay so the chocolate is good however this I'm giving a maybe. As I mentioned in an earlier vlogmas video not huge on caramel and I only like it in certain things So this one is more like a soft caramel wrapped in chocolate and I don't love that. So we are actually eight for nine when it comes to chocolate. Five for nine when it comes to tea. So we're, we're doing better when it comes to tea. But yeah, this particular caramel is just like not the kind that I like. Otherwise, I'm still having fun with this, which is what really matters. So let me know if you've read Forging a Nightmare or if it's on your TBR. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today and I will see you tomorrow for day 10.